Hello. Hello again. Um, you know when you've invited your beloved parents over for afternoon tea and you want to impress them but you don't want to look too flashy? Well, this cake is, is going to be perfect for that occasion. And I, I guarantee that once you've made this cake, you will never ever want to buy a cake from a supermarket again. Anyway, so I'll just run through the ingredients. You're going to need six ounces of self-raising flour. It must be self-raising. Six ounces of caster sugar, must be caster sugar. Six ounces of butter or soft margarine. Three large eggs. Two ounces, that's 57 grams of ground almonds flaked almonds and you're going to need almond extract and it can't be almond essence because almond essence is synthetic you want almond extract you're going to need greaseproof paper scissors and a pencil right. we're going to start by greasing our baking tin and i'm using a six and a half inch tin it's quite old and I think when you buy tins now, they're a bit bigger and maybe a bit wider, but a bit shallower. But anyway, what you need is you draw around the tin. So you end up with, with the pencil on your greaseproof paper and you'll end up with two circles. And then you want to cut another piece of paper to go around the edge. And for that, you want to have these little serrated edges at the bottom. And that is because when it... You, when the cake is cooking, if, the, if these bits of paper get into the mixture, they'll stick and sometimes you tear the cake as it's coming out of the tin. Anyway, so you're going to grease the tin like this. And I'll see you in a minute when I've done all of this. Hello again. Right, so I'm now going to mix the soft margarine with the caster sugar. I'm going to put them in my bowl here and put the uh, sugar in and I'm going to whiz this up I'm going to cream it until it's uh, a soft and white and fluffy mixture so I'll see you in a second when I've done this Bong. hello again right so this is what ha this is what I've whisked up the sugar and the eggs oh sorry no the sugar and the fat the uh, margarine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the almond extract in, yum, 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 like that. I'm just going to throw that over there. And I'm going to put a little bit of egg in. And then I'm going to start to whisk again. And I'm gradually going to whisk him up like this and I'm going to add a tiny bit more egg like that and if it looks like it's starting to curdle you start to add the well that you can that you, I mean I'll be adding the flour but if it looked like it was going to curdle I would start to add the flour sooner. A wee bit more egg. Now I think I'm going to just pop in some of our flour. Add that in, like that. Because we want to keep, we want to keep the air in the mixture. I think. Bit more flour. Of our egg, I think, can go in now. 
And I think we'll just pop another bit of, plonk another bit of flour in like that. You're probably beginning to understand that I'm really not an expert. <laughs> Okay, and I think I'm going to add the rest of the flour. So if we can cut there, I'll come see you in a minute. Right, I've added the last of the flour and now I'm going to fold it in like this. I've stopped using the machine. Apparently it's called cutting and folding apparently. And here we are, we're going to fold it in and then we're going to cut through and fold it in again. And we're going to do this until all the flour is blended in with our mixture. And then the uh, Pierre de la Resistance is is when we're going to put put our delicious almonds in. God, I think, uh, I think almonds are one of the, one of the world's wonders, in my opinion. Anyway, just think when you're when you're serving this for your afternoon tea after you've served your cucumber sandwiches and you've had your tea from your finest bone china just think what everyone's going to be thinking they've been thinking we were so wrong about them we thought they were complete idiot and now look they've managed to make this cake so that everyone that you know your beloved parents their opinion of you will change and it will all hinge on this on this one moment of you serving this almond cake so we're going to keep doing this and I think we can cut there and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've now got our mixture and now we are going to fill the tin with all this deliciousness. Like this. You know that scene where as someone's leaving your house, they stand on, they stand in the hall or on the doorstep and you have another conversation and you're thinking, oh, for God's sake, why didn't they just go and it, it, or come back in and, and, and have a cup of tea before you go. That's, they're going to, the main, the main topic of conversation is going to be this cake. And, and, okay, once it's in, we go like that, gently. Because we want, or we want it to um, flatten out. I'm going to flatten it out a bit. There we are. Like that, and then we can artistically sprinkle our almonds on top. Not, not a double layer, because apparently they burn if, if, if there's a double layer. And then, now this deliciousness is done. Oh, hang on, we'll just plonk a few more in there. Um, we're gonna put it in the oven and it's gas mark four and a half. Or if it's electric, it's 180. Or if you've got an electric fan oven, it's 170. And that's for approximately 40 minutes. But pop, pop it out after about 20, just to make sure it's not burning on top. And if you think it's too brown on top, then get your greaseproof piece of greaseproof paper, scrunch it up like that, then run it under a cold tap. Obviously, shake it out so it's not dripping wet, and just put it on top, and that stops it burning. So I'm going to put it in the oven now, and I'll see you in a minute. Hello. Well, it spent about 40 minutes in the oven. I turned it up a bit because it wasn't cooking very quickly. So I just tweaked it up a tiny bit and there it is. That's what it looks like after 40 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is, oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to, oh, hang on, hang on. I'm going to put that on there. No, I'm not I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to turn it over like that. And then we're going to, just ease him off like that and then we'll take the paper off come on yum 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 yum, yum. 
put that over there and then we'll just pop that little number off put that there and then we'll just uh ouch 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 i think actually i this is what we call not knowing what to do yes it's all right thank you very much then we're going to put that on there like that and i'm going to throw those over there and we'll just oops turn it over look at that look at that that is going to be delicious and the good thing about this cake was that it lasts quite a while because there's oil in the almonds so you can keep it in a cake tin as long as it's covered with silver paper and and that's it that is our wonderful almond cake and i'll just go through the ingredients for you we've got six ounces 170 grams of butter or soft margarine six ounces 170 grams of caster sugar three large eggs half a teaspoon of almond extract not essence six ounces 170 grams of self-raising flour two ounces 57 grams of ground almonds one tablespoon of flaked almonds um that's the drobbies on the top um our baking tin grease proof paper scissors and a pencil and and that's it that's going to be absolutely delicious and i guarantee that that will be the main topic of conversation when your guests leave on the way home this is what they'll be talking about the epic cake that you've made and all the doubts they ever had about you will be washed away just because of this cake okay thank you